So, hey guys, right here, right here. So, one more good video. This video is going to be reviewing the 101 photo foot scale TT Only XCR Repair 2. And this is a quickie video because this is only my custom. Uh, yeah. So, thank you, Kenny, for giving me this kit. I mean, XCR <clears throat> Yeah. So, this is only like a pretty short video because I have more time. I have uh, a very low time, uh, freaking time, <laughs> because I have a bunch of uh, assignments, school, <laughs> yeah, so this, here's the model, this is actually my custom one, this is the painted one, so yeah, so Here's the come. It comes with a bunch of accessories. Well, not a bunch. It comes with a beam saber hilt right here in the hips, and not surprisingly, a oh gosh, a G, uh, sword blade. Yeah. Yeah. Sword blade, and some parts are loose. Some parts are tight. Um, it's not perfect. Uh, it's here's the my custom painted, custom paint painted one, G and sword. I mean G and blade. It doesn't fit into the hands really well, cause yeah. Here's the G and sword. There's the G and sword. It has a clear part. And I panel line that it has a swivel right here and the connection point right there swivels. Yeah, you can attach this into the arm. Well, in this case, it it's really hard when you uh, put it into the traditional way, right here. And yeah, so I put right. I put it like this. I swing. I swing open the blade and remove this blue thing and attach it to the hand. Oh crap! <laughs> it's that easy. Not really. There you go. And you attach it. You attach the blue piece again right here and then you close it and there you go you have XCR oh god XCR repair too not really it it comes with a beam saber well this is painted by me see the paint is chipping because my paint sucks it's really cheap like about a dollar <laughs> yeah it fits into the hands really well like it doesn't fall off or anything and the beam saber hilts right here it does it can fit into the hand it comes with two two four of those <laughs> not too many beam saber hilts and I mean not and because there's one more uh, freaking shield oh gosh the paint is rubbing off <laughs> and you put the shield right here and it's pretty loose oh gosh it's pretty loose so uh, and uh, lastly my custom painted uh, GN hand I mean GN finger. You know some uh, some of you know G Gundam the series. It has the shining finger and god finger. So here it is. I painted it uh, blue, light blue and gold. And actually this hand it's pretty loose into the connection right here that port right there it's pretty loose 
Like if you put it in, it's really loose. So yeah, you can pose it like he's having like God finger. <laughs> Jiendu finger. Ha. So yeah. And that's about it for the accessories. Let's move on to the articulation. I will remove the Jin sword for easy access to articulation because there's a lot of zoomers. Guess who that is? So I will remove this piece to not fall off. Also, I painted this one blue. Like it's not completely blue. There's a bunch of small white marks like stars like a G in condenser but blue form that's me that means it's overloaded yeah I made that up crap it's it fall apart eh. okay there you go and you put it right here so yeah the head moves up about that far not really far about that far also it has some GN closed ones in here but I did I forgot to bring that so yeah moving on it can go up like that far and look down that far really nice articulation it's really loose it can look about no not 360 about oh yeah I think yeah it can go 360 and this and the side fins go down and up the shoulder I mean the chest like moves like this also this piece is floating so it can go uh, in and in and out however you want there's a shoulder shoulder armor moves independently and you can rotate the hand there's a bicep swivel not bicep really it has an up right here it swivels right here and the single jointed elbow more than 90 degrees and the ball jointed wrist that can swivel so we it's it, in the upper body it has really good posing action also the lighting is pretty off right now is it like that so the waist moves I mean the waist swivels can go 360 no problem yeah oh okay not, it's not loose but you can tighten it up like very easy swivel here and this the front skirts move up I cut them in half so I can have an um, independent front skirts <coughs> and the leg move it move mobility mobility uh, it can move up that far uh, backwards that far it can go out that far because it, it only has in a ball joint right there you can see it hope you can see that and there's a thigh swivel like if you pull it down you can really have a thigh swivel thigh swivel right here
I think this is a double jointed one, double jointed um knees because it has a joint right here that can only like about 45 degrees and another joint right here oh no not 45 degrees about less than 90 degrees and a joint right here so it really has a nice articulation right here the knees the um, ankle guard moves really high it can move really freely mine is too loose for my liking <coughs> yeah the feet move, is on a bow joint and uh, it has a hinge right here right here there's a hinge so you can move it up really far looks like he broke his ankles <laughs> So yeah, it is on a ball joint that does swivel and the swivel. Oh yeah. So and in this case you can have a bunch of posing action. A really nice pose sing action. for a pretty cheap kit so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to hit that like button and as always thank you guys for watching and have a great day and also the NGG Gundam I have it right now my way I will unbox it like tomorrow I promise G good lighting like a hundred percent good lighting so yeah goodbye